What's going on, y'all? It's Upstate J. I'm here with Jer Taker, Chef Neutron. We're about to get into an exclusive interview. Um, I'm asking him a few questions. Some of them he may know about, some of them he don't. Uh, let's see what type of answers we get and see if y'all can get to know him a little bit better and find out something to help clue y'all into what he's got going on, his music, and more about the ECP. So, you know, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the interview. So, got question number one here. Do you think your ego is too big? Oh, man. That, that, that's a good one. Uh, man, a lot of people, you, you got something to say first about that? What do you think? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you, you believe so? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have to you admit. You got to be confident. No? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm confident, but there, there have been times I've been overconfident, you know, maybe a little cocky. So, I mean, I, yeah, I, I would say so. So, you know, well, uh, it, it gets big on sometimes, yeah. yeah. Being able to recognize that is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a step. There we go. <laughs> all right, all Everybody right. Everybody would say yes to that question. Everybody Probably, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm learning something new. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we move on to the second one. Uh, why have you changed from the quiet kid to the exact opposite? Okay, so so, so that that be to the ego. Now. Yeah. So how did the ego get there? All right. Well, see that. <laughs> That would be something that people would from that knew me for many years would probably know that one. So, um, all right. So, kind of what happened was I got into a lot of the. I've always been into the entertainment business, but like the thing is when. I started to get a lot of hate. I started to fire back, which could be a bad decision and a good decision at the same time, but I did start to fire back. So then what happened was it kind of brought myself from being quiet to, you know, stick it up for yourself. Don't let no one push you around. Don't let nobody, you know, talk bad on your name. Like, and see what happened was after that, I started getting into more aspects of the entertainment business. So it's kind of like there's certain times where you get interviewed. There's certain times where you're in videos. You you got to be entertaining. You can't be quiet and you know to yourself. You got to be more entertaining. So yeah, so you get to be more talkative and more you know outgoing. Right. You know. It's definitely good, though, to, you know, notice that, though, and take that, you know, you recognize it in certain parts of the business that that, that oh, yeah. the ego has to have some type yeah. of boundary. Yeah, definitely. You can't definitely. be like that all the time. Exactly, you know, exactly. There's definitely moments when you got to turn exactly. it on and then other moments exactly. you know how to play your position. Exactly. Any comments? Uh, no, nah, not really. Not, not really? Not this one? <laughs> not this one? Okay. All right. You see, kind of chill. That's not his vibe. <laughs> You want to lay back? Y'all kind of got the, the ebb and flow here. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So I'm a right. quiet guy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you, you're kind of more relaxed, more quiet. He's kind of out front going to let you know how he yeah, feels. Yeah, he's the one that yeah, calms yeah. me down. He'd be like, all right, right now, nah, it's, right, it's, right. it's time to chill a little bit. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, he, he, he act out sometimes. I'm just, uh, I just got to beat her. Like, oh. You're like, okay, no, 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 he's going over the edge. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right, a little bit over, bro. Let's go. Come on, uh, a little bit. Come on now. Because right. he, he takes a lot serious, but you got to Or go, too far. Gotta, or too far, so you got to be like, I got to be like, all right, don't take it too serious if it don't really don't matter. But right, yeah, there we go. Right. Like, there right, we go. Right, put it in perspective for him. But yeah, but I don't blame him, though. Yeah. It's you business. know, but I mean, you know where you're coming from. You know, that's the yeah. good thing about having some, you know, somebody Definitely. that knows you. They know where you're coming from. They know where your heart really is. It's not more or less a thing exactly. you're trying to be evil towards somebody but you don't want to be a pushover so i get yeah. you there to kind of keep them in that lane like okay well, you go on you might be being a <laughs> <laughs> so I, you gotta cool cool it a little bit so you know that's Indeed. how it go you know you gotta have your moments you know exactly yeah all right so we on the number three here all right so how did you come up with the name Oh man, so back when I was real young, we used to do like all sorts of wrestling matches and stuff like in, in my backyard and man, we, we always do all sorts of stuff and everything and I, I'd be slamming people doing this and that. Then like on top of that too, my, my one friend uh, had had a few uh, nicknames and everything, you know, he started giving me some nicknames and then he, he took he took what my uh, name is, which is actually getting changed. My name is, uh, my real name is Jeremy, I'm changing it to Jer Taker uh, legally, so um, the thing is, he just took Jer and and then threw it on to Taker because, man, I'd be taking some people down sometimes. So it's like, <laughs> and, and physically and, you know, everywhere, you know, literally, okay. financially, emotionally, everywhere. Okay. Come on now. So, like, that man, Jared Taker really came upon, you know, it was like, that's okay. what it is. I will, I, I, since I asked him the question, I got to ask you the question. How'd you come up with your name? Chef Neutron? Yeah. All right. So you're going to like this. All right. So, my Uncle Squirrel. Okay. He's like, he's like probably one of the best uncles I got in the family. So... He gave every one of his 
grandkids, nieces, and nephews a uh, nickname to start with the first letter of the name. And okay. My real name is Nate, so okay. it just came up with Neutron. Okay. And I've been sticking around with that forever. It got popular because okay. not just him. He started to call me it, but everybody else started to call me it because. Because he's was, saying it. Yeah, okay, okay. I was most likely known, and um, I just came up with Chef. Okay. okay. Now, I call myself a chef. I, I can't cook at all. Okay. I'm not allowed to touch a stove. Okay. <laughs> I, call, I, call, I call myself. I call. I call myself a chef because the chef that can't cook and the producer that can't cook yet, uh, yet. But well, well, yeah. not 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 just that. Please don't put that. In but, <laughs> I, but mainly, I call myself a chef because I'm nothing but positive positivity, and I cook up facts. Okay. Oh, there we go. Facts. Okay, okay. Cool. I like facts. that. One. I got you. All right, I like, I like that. that. All right. So well, number four, we got here. Why are you considered one of Buffalo's most hated musicians? Yeah, man. Uh, How did you get that? Time? See, see, <laughs> I, man. I don't know. Like, see, my like versus dislike ratio on a lot of my stuff is terrible. Cause like there'll be so much dislikes, but the thing I have to say is a lot of people get jealous. A lot of people like hating on me. But they're all attracting, you know, an audience. So you can't say you hate me that bad if you're going to keep watching me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, go ahead and keep calling me, the, you know, the most hated artist. Go ahead and keep hating on me. Go ahead and throw some hate comments in there. You're helping me in the end. So, I mean, go ahead and do that. I mean, whether people don't think of it or not, the uh, people attract, and if you attract an audience, it don't matter if you're liked or disliked. You, you're doing something right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, 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 got, I def definitely am more disliked than a lot of artists. Definitely more disliked than a lot of videos first but people stay watching me so I mean that's, man that's that's that I don't know, that's a good question for the people you know watching this <laughs> so that's it so if you're out there listening and you're watching a video maybe you might want to drop him a line in the comments so maybe he can see what the uh, issue is here. I mean <laughs> you said you oh, said well wait, wait a minute wait, about that because I we 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 were sitting we was in the backyard sitting by the okay. fire we were just talking about things and said you said that most people hate you because you were kind of ignorant back in the time. I was, I was. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I, I was, I was a lot of things a while ago. I, I fixed a lot of things, and I think people stuck with the hate. I think that's what it is. I don't know. It's good. That's good. That's good. It's a good thing to ask. You hey, know, for, it's, a, it's a new day. So hopefully, some of y'all out there that's hating, y'all listening, and figure out y'all can turn your leaf. So you know, maybe. hey, get a man a chance. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you're starting to get much more respect than the disrespect yeah. you used to get. Yeah, that's true. That's Consistency true. pays off. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, how has your spiked? Ex excuse me. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> <laughs> how has your spiked success affected you? Oh uh, man. Uh, D definitely boosts my ego. Uh, that, I, that that was one of the questions. But the thing is, I have to control myself a lot of times. So it does at some points give me a little cockier. But the point is, I always put myself back in the right lane and I try to get through it. And then that's other times too. I get very excited. Like a lot of people think, oh, man, uh, that, that, yeah, you got some spike success and everything. But like, you seriously, you 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 dramatic. You overexcited. Blah blah this that. Like, yeah, I agree, but. If they experienced that, they'd probably be the same way. So I can't really, I can't really blame myself, you know. So like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got something to that. Uh, I mean, I'm everything on what he said. Oh, okay. it's, it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> they can't, they can't call you like, they can't call you hype when you are the hype. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, that's a good one. That's a good okay. one. Okay, I like that. We on question number six now. Oh. Uh, what were your latest releases? Uh, my latest, my actually. So what happened was I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little back before my before my two latest releases. Um, first I had zinc oxide. People were like, all right, so you can you can do something a little more aggressive, a little more scary. Then I dropped dead love, and they're like, all right, you could do something sad, and depressing. But that that's all you're gonna be able to do. So they doubted me. So I was like, all right, all right, you're gonna doubt me. All right, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do two big releases that are upbeat and that are dance. And now people are like, oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, you you talking too big. I was just like, all right, well, let's see. I dropped Wasted, uh, featuring uh, Dylan Tool and Grenzi. You know, Dylan Tool's got some spiked uh, increase, just signed to Universal Records, actually. And then um, 
I dropped um, Home featuring Tony Iggy and Cozy Beats. So that man, that that's not, that both of them are doing really good right now on uh, YouTube. Not even a music video yet for those. Literally just the audio videos and already in uh, the thousands already. Okay. So it's like man, they're doing really good. So yeah, those are my two latest releases right Damn now. Love reach 10k. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's some craziness. And uh, Zinc Oxide mm -hmm. is a song that my god brother really loves. Like he's like. <laughs> Turning tennis, but uh, when I first showed him the song, I was like, it was like he already just. He already jamming. He got it in his playlist. He played over and over again. I'm like, oh man, he really love it. Now, surprisingly, my, my girl's not the biggest fan of my music, but she I dropped Wasting, and she's like, okay, now that, that I got to add him into my playlist of music. And I was like, all right, there we go. Okay, so I got something out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, okay, okay, you, you got me now. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's the way you got to go with it. Slowly but surely, you know, you're not going to win everybody over over Exactly, night. exactly. And, you know, you got to realize, too, that, you know, the people around you exactly. don't, don't have to mm -hmm. be your face. And I got, I got a pop song and a reggae song coming soon, so I'd be throwing it like crazy. So you, you're all over the board. Yes, I'm all over the place. <laughs> that's good, good. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, you exactly. Know I mean? You can kind of blend in with different definitely, things. Definitely, definitely. You never know who may call you. Yeah, exactly, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, how have you been getting inter... How have you been getting interacted with more in public? So let me see if I'll word that a little bit better so people can understand. So now that you're out in public and you get noticed, you know, how how's the reactions to that? Oh, man. See, I've been actually trying to hide my identity a little bit when I go outside. So, I've been, like, there's been so many people, like, like saying my name, coming up to me and all that stuff. Like, I gotta be careful because, like, I, I'm not, like, crazy big, but I'm at the point where I gotta start being a little more careful. Because, you know, especially, like, I'd be around. So, like, people will be like, oh, yeah, I know you, man. Like, oh, no, no, no. So, yeah, I've been trying to hide my identity, go a little bit, you know, under the co undercover a little bit, but... But, uh, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's, <laughs> yeah. I got to just be careful, that's all I know. <laughs> my, my, a lot of people know him right now. Okay. I mean, especially when we were at the mall on Black Friday. Oh, my God, these girls, they just come up. Hi, Jared Taker. He's like, he, I'm, I'm looking at his face. He's like, I do not want to be noticed right now because he, <laughs> okay. he, he was so quick to get what he wanted to get um. because, <laughs> but it was like, he was like, Jeez, hello. <laughs> and then they were like, uh, well, they were actually, they, they were just being dumb, because I can tell. Mm -hmm. But they were like, um, your music nice. He's like, well, thank you. They're like, yeah, come on, come on, we gotta figure out something. It was like, right. like hey, hey, what do you think? What do you think we should say? Like, come on. They, like, they knew it was him, mm -hmm. probably first time seeing him. And they were just like, oh my God, what, what should we think? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny when we were walking by. They were like, oh, "Hi, caretaker." <laughs> oh, so that, it is him. One of them type of moments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know that it comes with the territory. You want to, yeah. you know, you yes. put yourself out here as an mm -hmm. entertainer is to be expected. So definitely, definitely, you definitely. Gotta, you know, you're gonna have to realize that. Uh, yeah. Certain things and patterns have to change with yes. you know, yep. certain success. Yeah, I've been telling people, I've been mean, like people that I hang out with and stuff. I'm just like, all right, now you gotta you gotta be careful how not to spread too much word out and everything on certain things. You know, you know, I tell you something, you gotta keep it quiet. You know, this and that. So I mean, like, you can't let the public know everything. You know, right, so. right. that's something um, I'm pretty much good at. Yeah, he's pretty good with this. It seems like yeah, I got this 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 yeah. this, this, this relationship here. Far as a. Is real close, is tight. Man. Yes, y'all don't really. He knows how to yeah, deal yeah. with you. You know yeah. how to deal with him. Yeah, we, we yeah, we call, we call, I call him my most trusted associate and uh, good friend. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, July twenty fourth, maybe uh, a year. I've been a friend with to him. So okay. yeah, so it's been, it's been man, most trusted. I have to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's where it started. Starts at you know at the bottom. You know, we starting up and. Find somebody you got a common bond exactly. with, and you know y'all gel together, man. You exactly, know, it's no stopping you. Know, exactly, you know? and I, exactly. I, and I actually met him because uh, I was—he actually—he's the reason I saw my friend I ain't seen like four years. Okay. So he showed up out of nowhere. I'm like, I was so happy to see my friend. And then when I met him, I, at the same yeah, time. when I met him, see, when I met him, mm -hmm. I, I had so much trouble. Trying to get his name right, he said Jertaker. I, I was saying stuff like uh, Jertaker, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 
Jataka or something. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different things yeah, about what it was. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, bro, just tell me your real name. He told me his real name. I said it for a while, and then I was just like, now that I know to say Jer Taker, I'm going to say it more. I'm there say we it go. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I, I hope hope you didn't take it disrespectfully. No, 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 I, no. no. like, Never heard. Yeah, of it. yeah, it's always, yeah, it's always people be like that. I know. Got your new name, but Jerry Baker, huh? Right, right, right. It's just kind of, it's a, it's kind of a tongue twister in some that ways is, yeah. because of the fact that the pronunciation of it. You yeah, know, yeah. So it's just not. It's usually like words like that usually flow one. It's like you have to jerk Taker. You got yeah, exactly. Two separately. So yes. It might have people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. yeah, yeah. All right, so here we go. If you become a musician, what? If you didn't become a musician, all right. Excuse me. If you didn't become a musician, what would you be doing now? See, so to be honest with you, with, you know. Uh, he knows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let, let's let you answer first. Yeah. You're so eager. Student nurse. A student nurse. Yeah. Well, that's already actually what I am. I'm an American musician, entrepreneur, and student nurse. I'm working to become a doctor on top of all that I do, so it's insane. But, uh, yeah, if I wasn't if I wasn't a musician, uh, obviously I would be still becoming a, just a doctor. And if I had the opportunity, I might even become a pro wrestler. So I'd do one, I would do one of those things. So like, there you, go. Uh, you know, I try to do as much as I can. So, you know, right now my title's big. So, I mean, okay. if I could fit more, I'd fit more. <laughs> all right. Alright, nothing See, wrong with that. Keep reaching for the sky. Yeah. Being a wrestler was part of my dreams, but uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't oh. actually uh, do that now. Gotcha. Number nine, we got here. What do you feel is the best song you ever released and why? Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, man. Uh, Alright. Um, lyric wise, I would say Dead Love. Um, for catchiness. Probably wasted, and then for like production wise, probably home, okay. and then video wise, probably zinc oxide. Okay. They all got something a little bit where they're a little bit better. And yeah, like, okay. Well, yeah. You, what do you? Best you... songs that you feel like is your favorite? I'll one hundred percent say wasted. Like wasted. That. Oh, I feel right. like that's the soul. Yeah, I got hearing it. Like... His friend said Wasted is his favorite, so y'all definitely need to go check that out. And that's the one that my girl said is her favorite. So, uh, the people seem to like this one, so if I was y'all, y'all want to know more about him, go check out Wasted. I think that's the one. Man, that song is so good that his girl plays it while she's in the shower. Like, okay. <laughs> okay, so that's how you know. You know, it's one of them sing along songs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feel it. But as of right now, uh -oh. um, so I like got another one in mind. Well, no, Wasted is my top one favorite song he got right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. But video-wise, I say Zine Cotside. Okay. Yeah, he, that's that. Wow, well, I, I was listening to the song, and I didn't even know what he was saying to be honest. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> when you saw the video, brought it together for you? Okay. But the, but the video, the way he looked, I'm like, okay, yeah. yeah that, that, that's what's up. He had, like, gas mask and a trench coat. I'm like. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So now y'all got the song wasted. Go check it out on whatever platform. I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's yeah, everywhere. yeah, it's everywhere. So you heard it from the man. It's everywhere. Anywhere you listen to the music, go check out. Except wasted. SoundCloud now, because actually the thing with SoundCloud is SoundCloud takes away a lot of times from your audience because it takes so much to make any money on SoundCloud. So uh, they're the only song that's on uh, SoundCloud is Zinc Oxide because that's a non-for-profit song. But the rest are all. On all platforms except for SoundCloud. Okay, okay. So, go check out Wasted on, on your favorite streaming, you know, whether it's YouTube. I mean, not, what, it's on YouTube. Yeah, yep, YouTube. YouTube, Apple, you know, Spotify. Yep. Yeah. So, it's a bunch of places y'all can find that. But go check out the video, too. Zinc Oxide, right? Yes. That's the video we need to go be checking out. That's what the people need to go see. <laughs> It'll be the same. Part two to that, too. <laughs> part two is coming? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So we, you got to check out part one before part two come out. You got to do that. Exactly. For, do for that. a fact, I got to be in part two. <laughs> part one, what I just said, you're going to say the same thing if you watch that video. Uh, like, dude, what the fuck are you saying? What are you doing? But what you wore was awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Brought the brought the theme together. He got dude. he got smoke. He's ripping his shirt. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Definitely on some wrestler stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, number eleven. What kind of singer would you classify yourself as? 
See, uh, I would say, because a lot of people are like, oh, are you a rapper? Are you a singer? Are you, what, like, what are you? I call myself an American musician. That's because I, I, I used to do a little producing, did a little beat engineering. Um, I, I'm drifting to singing. I do know how to rap. I do rap. I, I do a little bit of a bunch of stuff. And then, you know, I, like I said, I'm going to pop and reggae soon, too. I, I only hip hop, so, and like pop hip hop. I'm going, I'm, I'm drifting all over the place. So, American musician. Okay, I like that, I like that. Keep it versatile. Exactly. Alright, so... What made you decide to pursue a career in entertainment? See, I love to um, bring laughs in people. I love to bring out the emotions in people, whether they be bad or they be good. I like to um, catch people's feelings. I like to bring people. I li I'm an attention seeker. I'm a thrill seeker. I, that's why I do my craziness in my vlogs and all that stuff. I am a thrill seeker. Um, I do like the attention. I do like being in the spotlight. So, like, you know, all them reasons throw them together. That's why. <laughs> that's why I'm so all in the pot and stir it up. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to lie. I actually like that, dude. <laughs> like, for real. Okay. I would really love that. Okay. Like, especially these uh hot challenges we did we did. Right, like, right. man. The thrill of those, huh? Yeah. yeah. Like, It'd be like a thrill. Spice, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even a big spice person, but like I just love going through the. To be honest, I actually like going through the pain and the dramatic experience, and you know, just, you know, experiencing things, learning things, yeah, challenging myself, you know, doing something that's a thrill or a daredevil -like type thing. You know, it's like it's fun. It gives you, it gives you a nice, you know, you know, gives you a nice thrill. You just, you don't, you don't want it to end. You want to do the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about it that way, but and I see. And if I something new comes out, we're gonna do it. <laughs> you get the knowledge of it. You get the wisdom, you know, of you know being. You know, you get the experience. You you get to know the feeling of this. You get to understand different types of pains for different things. So like, not all hot things have the same pains. Like depending on what it is, it has different types of pains, different types of you know side effects. You know symptoms that happen. You know there's like same thing with like when you get stung by certain bugs or animals. I'd be doing that in vlogs too. Like it's just it, everything's a little different. And it's kind of cool to. Experience experience and you know get that knowledge and then on top of that too everything makes you stronger right yeah, yeah. so right now the only thing i wasn't up for was when he was getting stung by a scorpion a yeah i even put that thing on my face yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah i put it on my face oh wow oh, yeah watch vlog three right Vlo four four watch vlog four you're gonna be like Dude, what is this dude doing? I'm catching up to do what <laughs> <laughs> There's some upcoming stuff. We're oh, really man. Have fun doing. We're skydiving. Skydiving. We're fun. The bulletproof vest. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to see, like, yeah, I got a lot of things going on. Oh, yes. We got a long list. Yeah, I got a TV show of things. <laughs> but you can miss me on getting bit by a python. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, exactly. We're doing that, too. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Swimming you know? with sharks. See, <laughs> the rain doing, doing that. that. He's swimming with sharks. I'm like, yeah, I, mean, I can't do that. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so we've got number 12 here. What about you? What about your music is rebellious, unconventional, or unusual? Oh, that was a good one. Um, so, I would say uh, what people think I can't do, I do. Also, when it came to zinc oxide, it was a little more aggressive. That's because that was at the point where a lot of people were pushing me, pushing me overboard. I was getting a little, little mad. So I said, yeah. So I thought I'd throwing out a more aggressive type song, you know, kind of. And you know, if you, if you, the lyrics aren't amazing on that song, but if you listen to the lyrics, they're, they're kind of, they're, they're a bit aggressive too. So it's kind of, kind of gets you a little bit. Uh, like, all right, all right, yeah, this gets me, this gets me, you know, I'm not relaxed anymore, this, you got me, you got me all nervous or something, you know, but yeah, so like, uh, rebellious, I would say, when people, you know, like I said, when people tell me I can't do something, I'm on it, I'd be doing it, <laughs> and they'll tell me no. You see that, you like a challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, all right, so, in that same tone, what sets your music apart? What is unique or at least uncommon about it? See, I don't know if you know lately, but lately there's been a lot of musicians that have been throwing out a bunch of stuff that is either off topic or is not super lyrical. Like there's definitely there, there's a bit of musicians that do are very lyrical like now, but not as much as they always used to because there used to never be songs back a long time ago that didn't have meaning to it like that just didn't exist right, right. so it's just like and now i'm trying to make it like whether you can't you don't understand the meaning of it or not i can tell you a good hour long summer like summary you like even well, it's not even a summary an overview 
of that song and get really deep into it. And like a lot of artists, I don't think could do that with their songs. I really don't think they can. Right. But I, I can. So that's why like I, I'm doing something that a lot of people aren't doing. And the same thing is I try to do the right thing all the time when it comes, to, especially before I didn't. And when I got into musical beefs and all that stuff, man, I, I dragged them. Now I kind of switch through and try to avoid them. I'm kind of like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, I can't do it. Right, right. It ain't every, it's not worth it all the time. Right. Everything, everything doesn't require a response. Exactly. And you got to be responsible and you got to be mature, you know. Yeah. But and it's all about growing. You, that's you, know, a, yeah. you start, you start yeah. and you got into it. You're going to encounter the conflict. Yeah. People are going to push you in a certain direction. Yes. But to... Like I said, to acknowledge it is a yeah, thing. or to ignore it, or to be the the bigger person and to walk away, you know. Right, right but that's the acknowledgement. Yes, Once yeah, yeah. Acknowledge what it is and know that okay, I can change exactly my behavior. I don't have to put myself in this exactly, situation. exactly. That's the part of the elevation. Mm -hmm. If you just ignore yeah. it and like, uh, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do regardless. Exactly, you, exactly. You yeah. Know, that's that's it's not gonna get you to where you want to. Yeah, go. true, you know, true. Like I say it doesn't matter if nobody likes what you're doing as long as you like it. Right, yeah, that's right. true too. Right, that's right, true. Right. That's 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 definitely key. You have to love it first. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, do you feel safe in public? <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> since I, see, I don't fear. I don't really fear much. Like, there's, there's sometimes I get a little, little nervous on certain things that I do, especially like with my vlogs. Like, I'll be, I'll be like so excited to do it all the way up until right before I have to do it. Then I'm just like. Oh, uh, why did I say I was doing this? <laughs> and now I'm just like, all right, all right, I'm doing it. You know, I don't back down. But at the same time, when it comes to public, I don't fear public at all. Not even a little bit. But I do see a lot of people who go down in public that are big. And they got big names or carry a lot of weight in their names. And it does open my eyes and I kind of have to think. That's why I told you about the disguise thing. I'm trying to disguise myself a little bit because I do have to kind of focus on being a little safer. Because there's a lot of people who get aggressive in public with me. So I'll be like... Man, uh, wrong person. I better be careful. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. I mean, I feel safe in public. Not it's more than probably most people would if they were in my position. But yeah. yeah. But wait, how do you feel? Do you feel safe when you're with me in public? To be honest, yeah. You do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. He's just he, you're, you're you're like well. Besides my cousin, you're like you know, you're just. Well, if anybody shows up and wants a problem, you can fight. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I can handle myself. Glad you know that he's ready for anything. Right, right. If you need somebody, have your back. You know he's got your back, huh? Yeah, I'm. I'm glad he's ready for anything. On the other hand, I'm just like. Man. Like, hey guy, what are you doing here? Like, you need to stop. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm can just we talk like, this out? Yeah. I'm like, hold on, what if we ain't up for this? He's like, oh, it's okay, I'm dirt taker. I'm like, well, that, 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 that won't work all the time. Uh, okay, because I see him get away with things nobody else can get away with. So like, okay. like, nobody else can get away with the stuff he got away with. That's crazy. That's why... I, I feel he safe. Says, like, it's got you amazed a little bit, huh? Man, he's a, man I don't know. There's a, a few of them stories, huh? That's another interview, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can be like, oh, let's go to the world's baddest neighborhood. We might not survive from. We just might make it through. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you got to have confidence in yourself. That's the most exactly. important thing. You know? yeah. Indeed. Right. So here we go. I ain't going to lie, but I was scared the first time when I first met him. Because yeah. uh, he was crazy. But uh, I'm like, yeah. It'd be, it'd be like 2 in the morning. He's like, oh, let's go to 7-Eleven. What? No, 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 no. People, people usually die at this time. <laughs> yeah, and then, well, on top of that, too, wearing a vest from uh, oh, a little something. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, bro. He, the, the, the bikers yeah. were being racist and disrespectful. So somebody told him about it. So he went up there. He went, well, I thought he that was that situation. <laughs> I, I thought he would go talk to him about it. But nope. He threw hands with these people, took their vests. <laughs> oh, Okay. This this was like this was like two weeks after meeting him. I'm okay. like, I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, dude? He's like, he's like oh, I stole a vest. I'm like, and, and he's yeah. like, let's go to Seven Eleven at like two thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. He's walking with the vest. Like, <laughs> he's got you kind of paranoid. Yes, and then, he's, then, <laughs> then yes, then, bro, these motorcyclers are. Like riding down the street, I'm like, right. I'm pretty sure they're coming for him. So I'm like, yo, take the vest off just in case. That's them. He's like, oh no, 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 I'm jerk tanker. I'm like, 
Take the vest off. <laughs> just the guess. Just, just so just, we have like, like, right, 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 walk past this one. But you can take on the next one. But let's right. walk past this one. Like you can put it, you can put it back on when they leave. He's like, no, 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 I'm gonna keep it on. Thank God it wasn't them. I'm like, oh, hey, thank you, dude. <laughs> that kind of would have you might have ended up bad, you know, seeing some colors that you like. Hey, I don't know this guy. Man. <laughs> yeah, you would have been like, yeah, 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 you got this. You know, yeah, hold on, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to the store and make sure that everybody else knows what's going on. So yeah, I can yeah. Get some help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the only one telling him to take his vest off. It was, it was, I'm pretty sure. It was our other friend that was with yeah. us, too. And he's like, dude, 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 listen to him. Imagine, you know, <laughs> after the, hearing the story of how you came up on the vest. Now, he, and then to see a bunch of bikers coming down the street, you're kind of like, oh, I, I'm not sure if that's them <laughs> or not. But just to be safe, let's uh, take it take off. It off. <laughs> <laughs> I, at that point, I heard him say no. Now, now my, our, our other friend. Our other friend who was with us, uh -huh. he was more scared than I was because one, he can't, he, any problem he get in, he's, it's always on him and he mm -hmm. can't really do nothing about it. And on top of that too, there were some people in some cars that he, he wasn't, uh, he was he was on edge with some, it, it was, he was, he was in double, it would have been double the situation and, and, and for him. that was another reason I was scared because they're like, yo, we got to walk fast because don't, these people, uh, they, they're, they're not cool, really cool with being jerk taker. I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> so he's not like, wait, like, hold on, now these people aren't cool with us, these people aren't cool with us, man. Oh. What the heck are we doing out here? <laughs> we're, 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 we're in the store, we're in the 7-Eleven, and they're just, they're they're getting gas for their cars. Because, well, they were racing, they were getting ready to race. Man, they're legal races. Yeah. You can catch that in vlog number two. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, our friend was like, yo, we, I'm kind of scared to walk out. I'm like, dude. It's I'm like, come on, we'll be good. Was coming from everywhere, huh? <laughs> I'm like, man, we can be good. Come on, let's go. And they're like, no, 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 no. I don't know why. I was kind of scared to walk out. The only reason I was scared because, like, after, uh, like, it was my first month walking again after my surgery. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm not just scared. You say, you're not even really in fighting shape. You're like, if we yeah, get into like, scrap, I'm kind of like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the boss. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> but more likely, if you're with somebody people got problems with, you're going to be in the problem too. I, that's why I said, that's I mean, why, but, yeah, that's why I was scared. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, dude. Hey, give me an issue. Come on now. What the heck? You got a vest on. You got people you got problems with. And they were, they were just staring us down in the store and I'm like, <laughs> just I'm like, oh, come on out. How do I deal with this? Huh? <laughs> I mean, look for a bottle. Do I grab what? What's in here? I can grab. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I had, I had, a, I had, I had this big ass knife. The clerk at the I'm counter, the clerk at the counter is just like, oh, oh what's big, going on out there? <laughs> what? Uh, Y'all good? He was like, make sure nothing happens over here, please. Yeah, man, like, please. I don't, I don't want to have to. I'm, I'm, I'm not staying here. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to call them folks real yeah. quick. Oh yeah. First little argument he saw. He said, hey, uh, we got some going on. Here. Yeah, we got too many now, people coming here. Now, uh, now, unless unless we're doing something like Walmart trips late night, mm -hmm. that's something I can be happy about doing, like over twelve in the morning. But what we were doing that day, I'm mm -hmm. like, dude, can we please make it back to the house? <laughs> like, this is my this. I'm like, this is like two weeks after I just met you, and you already got me in some shit I wasn't prepared for. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but that that's one thing I like about him. He's just like. He don't care. Right. Here he already's used to this stuff and he's like Yeah, pretty much take what's, yeah. what's given, huh? I ain't taking this vest off, I'm jerk taker. <laughs> <laughs> there there are like there are like eight motorcyclers speeding down the street. I'm like, Oh, they're probably looking for you, dude. Please <laughs> take the f vest off, bro. Please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's continue the next question. <laughs> Number 15 here. What's your musical plans for the next 12 months or so? 12 months. All right. So um, I do plan on getting uh, quite a few music videos out for the releases that I have. I was just uh, featured in the Big Struggle album start, um, called Next Up. Uh, the song that I was in is number 16, Started Up, uh, featuring Grenzi. Well, featuring me. Grenzi, yeah. Grenzi was the main artist on the track. And then... Um, we yeah, so I got like three music videos, three or four music videos to do. I got a 
two albums and two EPs coming out. Uh, there's, I'm not gonna tell you who's on any of them. That that's that's very common. But I'm gonna say one's an old school um, album. One's a the number the disc was this was that that discontinued. They're coming back in an album form, so they're actually coming in a song, in song. So that's gonna be pretty cool. It's so an album for that, and then there's uh, uh, two EPs. I'm not even gonna say what what types those are. You're just gonna have to wait. So after that, I'm gonna be starting to perform a lot more. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all, the load the load is coming. He's got everything geared up. It's about to drop soon. So keep your ears out. All exactly. right. So have you ghost written any songs for any other artists before? I have actually, yes. There's, there's been quite a few songs that I have. I'm not, I've done, obviously, goes right. I can't be telling. Yeah, I can't be telling who. But yes, there, there's been good four or five artists that I've uh, helped write songs for and everything, either assisted in most of the writing or actually written the whole song. So, but yeah, is it? I think they turned out pretty good actually. Okay. Turned out pretty good. Okay. All right. So, how has your accomplishments affected your everyday life? Oh, well, uh definitely puts me at a sense of having depending on the, the situation depending on what um we're referring to if it's like like back back in school and stuff and everything i do national Arts side national technology side national side of high school scholars i had quite a bit of power student ambassador student liaison okay. you, you, man it, it was insane so i mean when it comes to that stuff when it comes to like college school all that stuff I always tend to, you know, try to have a little more power in things and all that stuff, you know, try to have a say in things, try to um, be well-rounded in everything, try to get a lot of accomplishments. When it comes to the uh, music industry, I try to accomplish as much as I can, do different things and everything, um, which definitely makes me more well-rounded. It makes me more experienced, more knowledgeable. Um, so somebody that if you, you need to ask me a question, I'm probably one of the right persons to ask when it comes to the things that I do. So, um yeah, I mean, I, I definitely am getting more respect than I used to have, even though being the, one of the most hated artists in Buffalo, New York. Uh, I definitely am somebody that people are starting to learn to respect because they see uh, how dedicated I am. They see how much money I put into everything I do. They see all the stuff I've been doing and all the accomplishments I have and all the achievements I've, I've you know, received. So... It, it, you, you can kind of see, all right, yeah, he, he's a person who's well-rounded in what he does. He does what he does, and he's dedicated. He's definitely dedicated. So, I mean, it, it affects me good and bad a lot of times. You know, money sometimes goes up and down, up and down. So, that's that's that's, that's a you know, pros and cons. You know, there's there's some. But that's a good thing, though. I think, I think though, the, to hold on to that um, dedication is a, is a key, is a key element. Because I think more people... Um, respect, like I said, consistency, definitely, dedication, definitely, definitely. Then they do more so style and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. We all yeah, say we like definitely. these guys for certain things. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Put down is the dedication that got them exactly, where they, exactly. Where they are. And if they're doing the right thing behind their name, so if they if they got the right name, they're doing this bad, this bad, this bad. Like not not like they're they're doing it bad. They're they're doing you know they're doing things good. They're doing things good. But the thing is, they're not using their name for positive things. That's what I mean. And I, I have a volunteer group called Serving Seven One Six. So on top of that, I'm Helping the homeless people get back on their feet, feeding them good, you know, making homeless pills out of plastic bags to use them up since they just became illegal. And on top of that, we'd be cleaning up the area, recycling, garbage, everything like that. Okay. And like, so, I mean, I... You got more to you than just yeah. the music. Yeah, I give out, so, too. So, I mean, yeah. That's community. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Exactly. Definitely. All right. So, any musical beefs lately? I've been doing pretty good lately. Lately, the, I haven't had any musical beefs that are in the public. Like, we, there's a few people I don't get along with when it comes to the music industry. A lot of people, especially local artists, um, especially there's this one big group that I don't get along with. I'm not going to really mention them. And I, like, I'm not trying to have musical beef with them, but they, they were taking some of my studio sessions and everything, so it wasn't cool. Like, I had a set of appointments, and I go in there, and then, oh, no, we have to cancel with you because this person paid more money to start your studio session. Man, you that you got to stay professional. You can't be doing that. So I had to drop some studios and stuff because I'm I'm just like that's not that's not a professional thing to do. I understand you're trying to make money, but you have to do. Well, if you have an appointment, you have an appointment. You can't yeah. be dropping appointments like that. Like you have to at least give me a week advance or something like that. Like you can't be or a few days advance at least. You can't just the right. Why I'm on my way there. Oh no, we can't. So somebody uh, took your session. Man, do I? Mean, Y'all just messed up my whole schedule. Like you can't be doing that. Right at that point, I'll kind of be expecting a refund. Yeah, literally, and yeah, exactly. Like you're coming back, you know. If yeah, you're, like. Just throw me off. I understand. Unless it's, you know, Pete Diddy in the band that's <laughs> here right now or, you know, you know, Dr. Dre, whoever, somebody 
you know, a legend that's in there, and I just let me sit in the corner. Yeah, exactly. You know, just let me sit back and just sit there, relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, good. yeah, literally, literally, yeah, like, but just to throw me away. Yeah, yeah, like, oh no, 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 you're not in here anymore. Somebody just paid paid your yeah. spot. And I'm like, oh, 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 what do you mean? I already put I already put a deposit down or something. Like, you can't just be doing that stuff. Like, <laughs> right. hold on. Like, yeah, like you said, not you call them that day and then they tell you no. Nah, yeah, like, no, those tell me like a f- yeah, fifth, like they tell me from anywhere from like an hour, fifteen minutes to an hour, you know, before well, I'm, I'm supposed to be in the day. studio no, time. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, dude, but I'm already almost there. Like, yeah, right. I'm, oh no, I'm what do you mean I don't got no studio session? Yeah, like, dude, what? <laughs> That's not right too much for me. Is, no, like, it definitely is. You know, I'm stuck to like one or two. I'm like, I'm staying at these two. They, 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 when they set an appointment, it's an appointment. Okay. They on their word. That's pretty much how you got to know who's, who's yeah. reliable. Yeah, they don't even care who comes in. If, if they set an appointment, they'll tell them, you got to set an appointment. You didn't yeah, you set one. another day. Yeah, yeah like, simple as that. like you know, I have a lot of respect no, for you, yeah. but you got to come in You maybe later on or something after the session. But, like, right, man. Right. Yeah. Now, if not, if that's the case, you know, if it is the case and they need to move something for it, you know, yeah, I feel yeah. like maybe a phone call right that moment. Hey, look, you got a problem with me? I got another guy who's going to pay me a little bit more money for this. Yeah, exactly. Hey, can I move this over? Is that all right with you? Yeah, exactly. It works. Out rather than just throwing me away and be like, oh no, I got another time. They're waiting, oh, they're for, you. They're waiting for you. Yeah. To yeah. call you to give you the bad. Well, for you to exactly. get the bad news yeah. instead of giving it to you. you yeah, know? exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'd rather you prepare somebody for yeah. something yeah. that's better than yeah, of the course. back end. Of course, definitely, you know definitely, I mean? definitely, so. definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, that's a good way to keep out of the. the, the, the you know, yeah, yeah. I'm just. I'm not even telling who. They yeah, just, just keep it alone. Leave it happened. Alone. Maybe yeah. they'll see and be like, "Shoot, <laughs> one day we did something." You can return a favor. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And be like, "Man, <laughs> man, one day session." Oh, I remember you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll pay for that session. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How much you pay? Twenty three hours was that? Well, give him fifty. I'll take that. Session. Yeah. <laughs> man, one day we'll see that. <laughs> I, I bet you. I bet you, man. I'll well, give you twenty five dollar <laughs> tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you, whoever you went to. Didn't even tell the person who took your spot that you had a session already. Yeah, probably not. Like, no, 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 definitely did. No, yeah, that's fair. Just took the the moment, the, the money, everything in the moment, and then they're just yeah, like, they, they, you know yeah. what I'm saying? they cared about how much money he had, like. But that seems like that seems like that was just more of a clout. We don't call that a clout situation. Yeah, they, yeah. They felt that that person, whoever they was, had clout, blah blah blah, this and the third, and pulled them in. That's what it seemed like to me. Yeah. You know, but on that note, number 19, number 19. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how has bettering your attitude helped your career? Bettering my attitude definitely helped me, helped me because, like, a lot of people didn't even want to, like, do anything in business with me or anything when it comes to music and that stuff and then my opportunities got open because like I kind of I was more respectful of people I, I you know I treated people the way I want to be treated I treat everybody equal that's the main thing I treat everybody equal and then people start realizing he's like oh man he's, 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 he's gaining he's getting success and everything he's gaining some uh, he's getting some clout and everything he's gaining a lot of stuff and he got a lot of achievements got a lot of this got a lot of that and uh, you know and his attitude is getting better a lot of people they get more cocky get more cocky and then you drift further and further away well people start coming closer because they were like oh he's doing he's been a lot better than he was like and like it's, it's hard to see a lot of people they don't change their ways unless they truly believe they need to change and a lot of people don't truly believe they need to change so i mean yeah, I, got, I got i got all my opportunities yeah, that's definitely great and got to work with more people <laughs> that's a, I, I feel like that's 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 part of your growth though that's your story. definitely definitely you know what i mean and that's what that's what mm-hmm. brings the people in oh yeah the, oh yeah the, the actual vision mm-hmm. watching the story oh know? yeah of course you doing the videos exactly and exactly YouTubes, they get to mm-hmm. see a little bit more of your life yeah yeah and they get see yeah they get to see who i actually am like they don't just oh i hear a song i don't know who he is yeah, really they can, <laughs> say, they can go back and say i didn't like what he did before but the stuff yeah. he's doing now, it yeah. seems different. Or if they don't like how I am in my music, they're like, oh, it sounds like he's this, it sounds like he's that. And then they go and watch the videos. Oh, but he's a little different like that. I, mean, right. I kind of like the videos instead. So they think I got the videos, I got the music. You can choose what you want, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, different ways to interact. Different ways for them exactly. to know you. So, all right, here we go. The f- wrap it up, probably. <laughs> the finale question here. What are your advertising skills like and do you advertise? Oh, I definitely advertise. I advertise more than a lot of the local artists, to be honest. Uh, I'm an amazing advertiser. Like, I, I, I got my own business cards. I'd be doing, uh, you know, in and out stores and everything, uh, word of mouth. I got, you know, through social media, through, like everything. I do promotions, you know, all sorts of stuff. I'm about to be getting a publicist soon, um, get some sponsors, all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, I'm I, I'm pretty good with the advertising. Uh, late, late, so, up till now, I've been doing everything on my own. So, all the thousands of views on things, all the plays, all the listeners, everything. 
everything like that, that's all been just me basically. Okay. And so now it's going to, I think, increase majorly because I'm starting to not only me advertising in my skills, but to bring some other people's skills on top of mine. So, but yeah, I definitely can advertise. I'm pretty good with that. Um, but yeah, I've, I've reached a lot of thousands on a lot of things. I've been on uh, for for on before when my music, well, all my music was on SoundCloud. There was everything was in the thousands for plays. Um, Spotify, it's thousands of, for listeners. Um, the um, on YouTube, thousands for videos. You know, some of the vlogs they're in, they're only in the hundreds, but they're 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 going to increase. Obviously, the music's a little bigger right now, but I'm sure fans will go back and forth to things, and they'll still, both of them will increase each other. Um, and you know, just everything's been in the thousands lately, hoping to bump it up to multi, multi, multi thousands, and eventually, hopefully, we'll hit a million on something. Go from five to six figures. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly. That's what I'm saying. We got, we got to jump it up a little bit, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I do pretty good with advertising. But yeah. Yo, when I when I first met him, I actually like supported him, mm -hmm. like, yeah. and he got a lot of more listeners. Oh yeah. Because of me. So, oh yeah, yeah. Like, he's big. He's big on uh, Facebook and uh, PlayStation and uh, what else? That's about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. I mean, his, his yeah. Some people from him, we we go back and forth. Like, you look Chef, Chef Nutra up, up on anything, you know. I come up. You look me up, and he comes up. You know. So we both we both come up on each other. So it's like it helps each other. And as we speak, yesterday, th is this Facebook friend? He uh he he actually tagged us about it. His song wasted. He was like, "This is awesome song, man." Again, another wasted lover. <laughs> like, again, what's the song? I'm telling you, you gotta go check it out. <laughs> like, it's it's not much, but he probably got about 550 listeners because of me. It's not much, yeah. but. Right, it's right. honest work. Yeah, <laughs> right, it is. Right, right. Every you know, every one counts. Right, but that's what it, you know. It's about it's yeah. about networking and it's about um you know being able to bring what you can bring to the table. Definitely, you definitely. Know, even if it's if it's one, you know yeah. what I mean. Even if it's one fan, that one fan could be the one person that you know puts you in the opportunity. Exactly. So you exactly. know, it's just all about you know starting. Like I said, starting your story out here and knowing that you got room to grow, man. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, exactly. I actually got some friend. I, I got this one friend. Uh, he 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 texted me. He said, he said, yo, your friend uh, Jer Taker, man. Can he collab with me? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna ask him. <laughs> a lot a lot of people told me like, yo, tell your boy Jer Taker, we need to collab. Okay. <laughs> they were okay. like. They're just like, oh my god, bro, I listen to your song. He's amazing. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's the great thing, you know, to get the to be able. I know you like that to be able to get feedback I from do. your friends. I do, I definitely yeah. do. I take it. Yeah. I take it. Yeah. I definitely. I I might not always listen to it, but I at least listen. I I might take it. I might not, but I'm always listening. Right. Always right. open to suggestions. Right. Always. Right. I mean, no, no offense to people, but he'll he'll take he'll like he'll do collabs with people if they got what it takes. Yeah, skills, I, I'm, skills. I'm very picky like, on who no, 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 I gotta, collab with. Yeah, you have yeah. to be, you know, yeah. consistent with your yeah. product. Yeah, see, I, I've turned a, a few people down because I, if I don't, if I don't agree with how, something they're doing, if something is unprofessional to me, I just, I just like, I'm like, or they, they're not super positive about things. If they're too negative about things, I'm not about to collab with them because that, that brings down my self worth. Like, I'm, I can't do that. So, like, I gotta. I gotta, you know, have my my standards up to a certain point and stick with it. As soon as you, as soon as you go off and do something, you know, that you normally wouldn't do, you know, your standards go down and people, you lose respect a lot of times from people. It's just like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold yourself up to a certain standards, you know. Right. I'm big on that. I'm big on that about knowing, um, you know, um, a fit. You know, certain mm. you may you may have a, a common ground with somebody on just a mentality basis but you know the music may not match up yeah yeah at the end of the day to yeah. me the, you know the the, the 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 music has to make sense oh yeah the definitely collaborations exactly right, exactly yeah yeah I, have, don't 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 that's the know. last thing i hate like well, i listen to a song i listen the whole thing super good and then they got a feature on there that doesn't make any right. sense i'm just like the the, the what what? Where does this even come from? I was like, "What? Did, was, is this person just thrown on here just to <laughs> throw them on?" I was like, right. "Like, what, what was the reasoning behind that?" I was just like, "All right." You do a lo-fi or an emo track or something <laughs> like that, and then you go put a country singer on there. Yeah, like, I'm just like, just because he's your cousin or your friend, it doesn't work that yeah, way. Yeah, I was just like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute." You could have collabed in a different way, maybe. Yeah, like, right, wait a minute, right, <laughs> like, right. hold up. Yeah, they throw you off, you know. Especially if they throw it at the end of the song or something. I'm just like, was that just like an add-on or something? Like, what was that? <laughs> is this somebody else's song? Man? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, they just advertised for them or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. 
So that concludes our interview here. Um, I'm here with Jer Taker, Chef Neutron. Um, I'm Upstate J. You can catch me on all my social media handles under Upstate Multimedia, um, YouTube, uh, Vimo. Um, you can catch some of the videos and some interviews. Um, I'm going to let them drop off their social handles to you so y'all can make sure y'all stay in contact and see what's going on with them. All right. So, you know me, Jared Taker. You can catch me um, basically on everything. Uh, you know, Jared Taker, basically, you can look up anything. You find me everywhere. Um, ECC Productions is my production, you know, ECP. So, ECC Productions is my uh, YouTube channel for music. Then there's JJ Entertainment for the other YouTube channel for the vlogs and all the other entertainment stuff that pretty much has everything put into it. Um, you know, Chef Neutron over here. But, yeah, you, you can basically find me on everything. If Official, official dash, uh, the under dash, Jer Taker for uh, Instagram, and then yeah, if you wanna say anything, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and Snapchat under the name Chef Neutron, and I'm a game streamer on YouTube. I get at it. I'm pretty much good at Fortnite, Apex, Call of Duty. Oh my God, let's not even talk about that. <laughs> and my, my 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 PSN is uh Chef underscore Neutron, capital C, capital N, and right. uh, get at it. Pretty, I, I really support ECP, but uh, and you should too. Yeah, you should too. Let's throw in hot too. House of Trouble, you know, we, we got our extreme activities we be doing. We, oh, we yeah. crazy people, you know. Yeah, yeah, it seems like they got a lot going on here, y'all. Y'all got to check them out. Oh, you yeah, like danger. Hey, man, he's got, hold on, hold on. Let me show y'all one of them. Rock. In case y'all thought it was a game. He's got these on, uh, he's got multiple chips on deck, folks. Believe me. He's you got, got a lot coming. stuff here that he's got coming. So if man. I was you, I would check in and see what's going on. Man, hey, speaking of that. We are known as professional idiots. There you go. Not immature. Exactly. Exactly. That's how it is. That's a different way to put it. I've never heard that before. The HOT. House of Trouble, baby. Uh, there you go. All right. So All right. Salute. See y'all later. See you.